sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with week two of my NFL picks. Now, if you didn't see week one's picks, I'm just going to quickly summarize that I was 11-5. and five. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. In week one. And you can go back and watch those picks. I will link to that week one pick video in the end card in case you want to see it. Just in case you want any proof that what I'm saying is true. But yes, I was 11 and 5. And uh, I had some big games come through for me, like um, Las Vegas um, beating the, um, the Ravens and Philadelphia on the road beating Atlanta big time. So, nice record for week one of the NFL season, especially since we hadn't seen anybody going full speed yet. We hadn't seen starters playing a full game. We basically hadn't seen these teams in all of their glory and yet I was 11-5, and five. so yeah, nice record. But, with that having been said, let's get into the Week 2 picks. So, that brings us to Week 2 of the NFL season. And remember, there's going to be 17 games this year, not 16 as we are accustomed to. Or if you're really old, 14, as you might have been accustomed to before the 16. So, let's start off with the Thursday, September 16th game. And that is going to be a divisional matchup between the Washington football team and the New York Giants. And yeah, I'm going to go with the Washington football team in this. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Washington football team. Now, I know that their man, Fitzmagic, was, uh, was injured, and he's probably not going to play week two. I don't know how long he's going to be out. But I also know that the Giants, again, are a very mediocre team. And... Uh, I don't give them much chance of beating the Washington football team. And also that backup guy, Heineke, Heineken, have a Heineken beer. He's, uh, you know, he's going to be able to practice a full week of practice with the starting squad. And remember, he's the guy that had that great game at the end of last year. So, you know, hey, what the heck. So now that brings us to the Sunday games. Sunday... September 19th. And the first of those that I am going to go over is the Patriots and the Jets. <laughs> no. We're going to go with the Patriots. Now, you know, they have Zach Wilson, the uh, Jets do, but these guys got Mac Jones. And actually, Mac Jones looked good in that that very slim 17-16 loss to the uh, Dolphins last week. So I am going to go ahead and say that, yeah, I think Mac Jones is going to pull it off against the Jets. You know, the Jets really, all they did was replace their quarterback. I mean, they probably did a couple of other things, but it's still the Jets. So that brings me to the next game, which is the... Broncos and the Jaguars. And you know, of course, that these guys have Trevor Lawrence. And you did see that the Jaguars made a very, very heartfelt comeback attempt last week against the, the Houston Texans. But no. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and say that the Broncos are going to win again. So, uh, and we did predict that the Broncos were going to beat the Giants last week, and they did. So, yeah, let's go with the Broncos there. So, now you got the team that screwed me last week, or at least one of these two teams did, and it's a team that we'll call the Buffalo Bills. They lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and so you would think, and the Dolphins had a slim one-point win against the Patriots, you would think 
I would say the Dolphins are going to win this game. But no. I'm going to go back to the Bills. I'm going to think that maybe their um, head coach is giving them a good reaming and telling them, hey, don't do that again. I mean, they really, uh, the Bills basically left their foot off the throttle and they didn't finish it. But I don't think they're going to, they're likely to make that mistake again. So, uh, and this is a division opponent that they know they got to beat. So, important stuff. So, we've got the uh, next game is the Eagles at home against the 49ers. Now, both of these teams were impressive in week one. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to my main men, the Eagles, that really pulled a big one out for me. I mean... Last week, the 49ers, they were going to win. Everybody in the house knew they were going to win. But yeah, go with the Eagles in this one. Um, it's probably going to be, I expect it to be a good game. But that Eagles defense really shut down the Atlanta offense. Now, I know that the Atlanta, you know, they're Atlanta. But still, they shut them down to three points. Or six. Six points. So, yeah. That defense is tough. They're good up front. And Jalen Hurts has shown that he is a good quarterback. Now, remember last week I said that the Eagles would win the game and that they have three quarterbacks on their roster. Some people interpreted that to mean that they're going to win because they had three quarterbacks, and that was not the case in week one, and I don't expect it to be the case in week two either. But it's always nice to have three quarterbacks. So the next game we have is the L.A. Rams taking on the Colts, who will be home. But yeah, I'm going. I'm going Rams on this one. They beat the Bears. They looked uh, pretty good beating the Bears with their new man Stafford. And uh, the um, I gotta say, the Indianapolis defense isn't quite as good as I thought it was. So anyway, uh, you're going to go, uh, and with that one, you're going to go L.A. Rams. That brings us to the Steelers against the Raiders. The Raiders. Um, you know, in this game, I'm going to go with the Steelers. Last week, I picked against them. And I think I'm getting my thumb on the pulse of the Steelers. Yes, they are a mediocre team. That isn't really all that great. But they have the best coach, I think, in the history of the NFL. All right, maybe not in the history of the NFL, but he's definitely the best coach in the NFL right now. And that's Mike Tomlin. And that guy, is I think everybody's afraid to lose playing for this guy. So, yeah, it's kind of like Belichick. He's, you know, so um, I, don't, uh, I don't see them letting down. I don't see them letting down, and, um, you know, it's not like the Raiders are that much better talent-wise, really. So, you put a, the Steelers up against a team that's roughly about the same talent-wise, give the edge to the coach. So, the next game we've got is the Bears are going home, and they're taking on uh, the Bengalis. Now, you remember... The Bengals won in overtime against our division rival, the uh, Vikings. I don't expect the same thing to happen this time. I'm going to go with the Bears. The Bears! Now, you know, if you watched last year, you know that I like to set up the no-lose situation where I pick the, the uh, Bears to lose every week. And then if they win... Uh, you know, my favorite team wins, and if they lose, I get a pick right. Well, not with the, going up against the Bengals. I think they're clearly better than the Bengals, and Dalton probably wants to show his old team that he's still got it. That brings us to the Browns at home against the Texans. And last week, I was high on the Texans against the Jaguars, but <laughs> that was against the Jaguars. So we're going to go with the Browns. The Browns almost beat Kansas City, except that they made a couple of key mistakes that cost them. Otherwise, they would have won. 
And so, yeah, go with the Browns in that one. Now you got the uh, Saints and the Panthers. And the Panthers are at home, but that doesn't matter to me. Let's go with the Saints and Jameis Winston. Did you see that guy last week? The dude passed for five touchdowns, but um, on only 20 passes. I think it was 20 passes. Yeah. 20 completions, maybe 20 completions or something like that. It was ridiculous. It wasn't a lot of passes, and he made five touchdowns within that time. So, and like 148 yards. Who passes for 148 yards and five touchdowns? Jameis Winston. That's the answer to the trivia question. So now uh, we've got the Cardinals at home against the Vikings. <laughs> Right. The Vikings couldn't even beat the Bengals. You can't handle the truth! So they're not going to beat the Cardinals, who really took off last week and looked great. I mean, that was a great uh, performance by Kyler Murray and the rest of the Cardinals team. I kind of underestimated them. Coming into week one, I'm not doing the same thing coming into week two. So the next thing we've got is on the docket is the um, Buccaneers are at home against the Falcons. Yeah, you really want to go with the Buccaneers here. I mean, come on. What are we talking about? I mean, I know that the Buccaneers hung on for their dear life to beat Dallas last week, but now we're talking about Atlanta. No, it's not even in the same universe. So the next game up is the Seahawks at home against the Titans. And I am going to go with the Seahawks. They looked good last week, and the Titans really let me down. I thought the Titans were going to win, and, well, they didn't. The next game we have is the cowboys taking on the chargers the chargers are at home in this one but man did you see dak last week yeah that guy can sling the ball and the dallas defense didn't look quite as bad as i thought they were i mean they did give up 31 points but that was to the world champion buccaneers i mean come on cut him some slack there the next game we have is another big AFC matchup that you might even see in the playoffs, and that is the Chiefs and the Ravens. With the Ravens at home, I am still going to go with the Chiefs. Now, I know this is a little, a little risky because the Chiefs have a tendency to spot other teams a lot of points at the beginning of the game and then have to come back and win it. But I guess they like doing that because they do it all the time. They did it last week. So um, I'm going to assume that they're going to do it again. So like when you're watching this game and you see that the Ravens are up 24 to 10 at the half, <laughs> watch the second half because <laughs> who knows with that team. I mean, you know, it's like uh, one of the guys on Good Morning Football said. It reminded him, the Chiefs reminded him in this last game when they were up, when they were losing 22-10, it reminded him of a line from the movie Blazing Saddles where he said, don't shoot him, that'll just piss him off. <laughs> so <laughs> that's basically how, I mean, that's how the Chiefs play. So now you got the Monday night game, Monday 9-20. And you've got a team that looked really bad, and I mean the Packers, against the Lions, who started out looking terrible, but actually made a valiant comeback. But we're going to go again with the Packers. Now, I don't know what happened to the Packers against the Saints. Certainly the Packers could have lost to the Saints. And even I said I expected it to be touch and go, and who knows? But I also expected a good game, and the Packers did not give that. They lost 38-3. So um, the question is, has Aaron Rodgers mentally already checked out? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Now, he's got a division opponent in the Lions. So 
if they lose to the Lions, hmm, and Aaron Rodgers has another bad game like he did against the Saints, who knows? So, everybody, those are the picks. How do you like what I got for you? I mean, you know, the record was good last week. Maybe it'll be good again this week. You never know. But uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know your picks if you want. Give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. And as always, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.